Hiya bestie, you are in for a treat today because today we're doing a little DIY. Today we're going to be turning this into this and I think this turned out not too shabby at all bestie considering it cost us literally £3.50 to make this envelope. If you're new here on this channel we normally do budgeting content but today we are showing you how to make cash envelopes on a budget. We've tried this with supplies from Amazon in the past and today we are trying Poundland. So if you don't live in the UK it would be the dollar store, the dollar tree. Everything, well almost everything is a pound. I mean I've noticed recently that the prices are rising. Some things are like £1.50 but some things are like 80p so you never know. So in today's video we are making cash envelopes on a budget. Budget. I'm going to talk you through the whole process and at the end we're going to have one of these stunning cash envelopes and I'm going to talk about the pros and the cons of making these from home. Okay so that's enough chit chat let's go ahead and take a look at what I actually got from Poundland. Now obviously we're going to be doing a laminated envelope so I got some laminating pouches how much I mean I know this is all going to cost a pound but sometimes it's a little bit cheaper so the laminating pouches were one pound fifty. Ah, oh, yeah I guess it says it there so yeah they were one pound fifty what micron are they? There's 10 in there for £1.50, so they're not actually that cheap at all. It doesn't tell me how thick they are at all. So let's just take a look inside. These are quite thin. I'd probably say they're about 100 micron. That bodes well, that bodes well. So they feel a bit thicker than the ones that I got from Amazon, but yeah, they, they seem okay. After I got the laminating pouches, I was looking for something to put inside and I found these party bags. So this is a pack of five party bags and they were one pound for five, which still, I don't think it's actually that cheap, um, but they've got some really nice colors. Now for, there's a lot of colors here. Let's make a lovely purple one. So this is uh, white on the inside. So I'm gonna try and do something to try and make a cash envelope out of that. Then I was really, really aware that from the last video where I made a cash envelope, not everybody's got a vinyl cutter or a Cricut machine. So I got these little fun stickers here. So let me show you these a bit up close. These are like rose gold. I think there's one sheet in each, but they were two for a pound. So I think we can get a couple of words out of this so we can work out how to do that. So from the previous DIY video, you'll know that I got the laminator from Amazon already. So let's go ahead and let's make these envelopes. Okay, so to make this cash envelope, what we did, we started out with the purple bag. I wanted to make a nice light purple one. I tore open the bag to make it as flat as I possibly could. I knew there was gonna be like folds and things like that in the actual envelope, but it didn't really bother me that much. We're just kind of making this a fun and we're just winging it, bestie. Once I cut the tabs off, I marked out a square and we did 17 by nine centimeters. That's the sort of rough measurement that I use for all of my cash envelopes. But if you have a look even on Etsy, there's so many different variations. And I know that if you're using dollars or Australian dollars, they prefer to have like smaller or skinnier envelopes. But that's the dimension I like because it fits a 50 pound note nice and securely inside. This time I used scissors to cut it out because in the last video I used a craft knife and I know that not everybody has access to that so I used scissors. It was a little bit wobbly but that's kind of what you expect with scissors. I got one of the laminating pouches and I did the same as what I did in the last video. So what I do is I cut around the width of the cash envelope but I just use an arbitrary height. I do that because I'm trying to make a pocket and what I need is one side of a laminating pouch to do that. Then I go ahead and make the envelope sandwich which consists of the cut out piece of paper that we use for the color in the envelope. Then I use that window but just one side of it with the tacky side facing upwards. I put that inside a laminating pouch and I chuck it through the laminator. This laminator did surprise me because she was very quick to heat up and she was very quick to laminate. I was very conscious that I wanted to not have the mottling and I'll explain that a little bit later but I kind of wanted to keep the envelope as thin as possible so that's why I only did those steps to make this envelope today. Once the envelope came out of the laminator, what I did is I used my guillotine. Now you could use scissors, but I kind of wanted to just get a bit of accuracy on this, try to make sure that it's squared up. So I used my guillotine. I cut around the sides eight millimeters and the bottom has about two centimeters. I then used my six ring hole punch so that it would fit inside a binder. But obviously you can skip that step if you're not gonna be doing that. If you do want one of those, you can get them for about a fiver on AliExpress or a tenner on Amazon. Then I went ahead and used those sticker sheets. They weren't <laughs> as nice. I thought they'd be on a clear sticking back, but they're actually on white. So there's a white outline around it. It doesn't really matter to be honest because the rose gold went really, really nice with the lavender envelope. 
I used a ruler to try and get it as symmetrical as I possibly could, but what I didn't realize is that the I is a skinnier letter than the rest, so it just looked way off. <laughs> it looks so bad. And with that, the cash envelope is done, bestie. So let's take a closer look at this envelope. So of course, the dimensions are a little bit off. I mean, when we compare it against mine, it's pretty much the same, but I can see there's a bit of a curve and that's kind of what you get when you are cutting things out with a pair of scissors. I don't know if you can see in the reflection that there's a bit of a sort of tilt to it. So it's extremely thin, very, very thin. So probably what I estimated at the start to be 100 GSM is probably something closer to 80. And because we didn't laminate the inner sheet because I was worried, if you remember from the previous DIY video, the thing was just too thick. Um, so we had mottling. So to avoid that, I made it as thin as I possibly could. Now this is crystal clear. It has laminated really well. You can see through it, there's no sort of like mottling or dappling where the adhesive hasn't fully melted. But yeah, it's uh, very, very crystal clear. So not too bad at all. There are a couple of bad things about this. Number one is that there are folds, but I could have been careful to avoid folds. So it's not really the fault of the bag. It's just what sort of print you like, to be honest. So yes, it is thin, but it will function like it's sturdy. Do you know what I mean? Like there's nothing wrong with having thinner envelopes. They just don't feel as luxurious. Now I didn't double over the bag either because I kind of wanted to try and keep it as thin as possible. So when we compare it against a, what I would say is a professional finish cash envelope, there, there is a lot of difference. So mine is die straight. This one's really wobbly. There's a real difference in how it feels for sure. Um, this one is just a lot thicker and a lot nicer. So yeah, there is a difference, but let's talk about price bestie. So my total bill at Poundland was £3.50 and from that we got 10 laminating sheets. We also got five bags and you could probably get about three cash envelopes at a push out of each bag. There was quite a lot of letters as well in the sticker pack so we don't need to really worry about that. In each laminating pouch you can fit two cash envelopes. So 20 but three, you could probably get 15 cash envelopes out of £3.50. So if you are a bit of a DIYer and you need some bright cash envelopes and you don't really mind them being thin and you don't mind having them look like that, uh, do you know what? It's a bit of a winner. £3.50 is an absolute bargain. Now, we're not talking about how much the laminator cost because we've already got that from a previous video. So if you already have a laminator, um, just getting yourself some laminating pouches, some paper bags and some stick on letters, you can make this happen as well. So actually, I don't think that is a bad deal at all. For context, if you want six cash envelopes at my Etsy store, that'll cost you £15. So that is my value pack. You can get them more expensive and you can get categories on them and stuff like that. But for like professional, really nice cash envelopes, there's a big price difference. So yeah, I think Poundland is not bad if you're happy with flippity floppity ones. <laughs> Thank you so much for getting through to the end of the video. You know I love it when you get through to the end of the video. Please give this video some love. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you are gonna comment, please use this emoji. I love doing these videos and I love bringing stuff to you that can save you a bit of money. We're all here to save a bit of money, but I'm not very good at sort of reducing meal costs or anything really practical like that. But <laughs> if it involves a laminator, I am there for you, bestie. So is there somewhere else that you'd like me to take a look at? I don't know if we're gonna be able to make it cheaper than Poundland, but we can try other stores. When we did the Amazon video, we got loads and loads of options. People wanted me to try Hobbycraft and the range, and I really like those ideas. But if there's anywhere you'd like me to check out next, let me know in the comments down below. Have you considered becoming a channel member or a patron? Patrons get exclusive content, sneak peeks, and significant discounts off my Etsy store. Channel members get early access to every single video, in fact, they've seen this video long before you have, Bestie. Well, actually, in this video's case, it was 
probably about an hour before you, but still. If you like the sounds of those perps and you like the sound of me, have a look at the links in the description. You will not regret it, bestie. Until the next DIY video, bestie, I would like you to have a wonderful day, have a wonderful week, and have a wonderful budget. Always remember, don't trust Ira. And bestie, I'm gonna leave you with the I Try playlist. This is where this sort of content lives. So if you like me DIYing or trying out hauls and things like that, definitely check out this playlist because it is built just for you, bestie.